What's up guys? So in this video, we're going to talk about how to make an online course using Google Slides. So what I'm talking about is the actual slides themselves, those bullet points with your little logo and your pictures and the title up top. I'm going to show you how to really easily build that using kind of a process that I built where I just essentially copy paste everything over into a new template each time I'm making a new slide or each time I'm making a new course really really fast I'm just gonna give you my process including a link to my Google Slides template so you can build your own online courses really really fast so now I'm gonna share my screen and show you exactly what I did okay so first I put everything that I want to say in the training on a Google Doc this is what makes it really really easy to copy and paste this stuff over into Google Slides and plus you don't want to try and build your train of thought in slides like this <clears throat> because if you decide that you forgot something or you need to edit it around it gets really tricky and messy so what you want to do is just open up a blank google doc and just write out everything you want to say about this one training just like throw up onto the paper i want to say this 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 and then you go back and you create categories and you organize it all and you put it in the right order and then give it a final once over and uh, you're obviously not looking to say everything word for word. You know, I'm like for this right here, if I'm going to talk about delivery models, let's say, these are all the ones I want to touch on, but I know enough about these to riff on them for a second as the bullet points appear when I'm recording the training. So the bullet points are just like a little blurb that sort of, uh, you know, gives the audience a hint about what it's about and reminds you that you need to talk about this. Okay. So, get everything that you want to say all your bullets onto a google doc first then once you have that you come over to google slides and you use the link that i provided down in the description below and all you need to do so this is like my course template uh, and it's obviously you know a specific training that i filmed called nail your delivery model but i just use this as the template over and over so I, you click make a copy and you'll need to do that to be able to edit uh, the version that I shared with you. And then once you make the copy, you can name it, you know, your training, whatever your title is. OK, and then you come to and then so then you can rename it. You know, you can give it the title here um, for pictures. I like to use this website, pixabay.com. They have lots of free stuff. Uh, they have vector graphics like if you want to search for you know books but you want to see it uh, in vector which is like cartoon style you, you select that and then you literally just hit copy you come here boom boom paste and now you have pictures for your training okay um, in terms of getting this piece right like mine says nail your niche trademark what you do for that is you find the master slide um where is that edit theme and then you go to the top one and then you go down here to where that is you change that out you see it's kind of gray because i don't want it to be super bold um, but if you change the themes this is things that will appear on all the slides you don't have to have something like that i just knew some of you guys would probably ask about that so i wanted to uh, share how to do that anyways I'm going to click this X to get out of here to go to what's important is so let's say this is the stuff that you put on your Google Doc and you want to now put it in slides by the way I also kind of go ahead and organize this slide by slide on the Google Doc too uh, proper planning leads to a lot better execution and all things and so if I you know I put this little space right here to kind of indicate that this is all just one slide so what I would do copy that and I go back to the template where I've already copy pasted and then you hit uh, control shift V in order to do what's called a um, paste uh, plain text I think it's called so if you do like let me control Z takes it away if I do just control V it shows up like that so it's basically pulling the format from the Google Doc but uh, control shift V if I undo it and do control shift V uh, it shows up like that if you're on a Mac instead of just hitting command V 
like you normally would to paste, you're going to hit Option, Shift, Command, V. And that pastes the text without any formatting. So it will mimic what is already in this template. And that's really important because the last thing you guys want is to mess around with font sizes and, and crap like that, right? You just want to get your training onto a slideshow as painless as possible because you don't love the tech stuff. You just want to teach and train and sell your courses, right? So that is how you do it. And you just keep going back uh, over and over, grabbing these sections, you know, and then you'll go to your next slide. And, you know, I just highlight the whole thing, control shift V, delete the extra bullet points that pop up. And then I usually go and I paste all those in. Then I go back and I add pictures to each slide one by one using the Pixabay website. And that is essentially it, guys. So you will now have a template. And so you can, um, like the first time you click on my link and make a copy, name that your course template file and bookmark it. And then every time you create a new training, all you do is go file, make a copy, entire presentation and then you will use that for each video right so the template you go to every time file make a copy and then name it whatever training it is you're filming then and then i found that these header sizes and font sizes uh, look well you know when you're in uh, presentation mode you, you want your stuff to be pretty big like this and so i think these sizes work of course you can edit them on your template if you don't like it. Um, but I wanted to essentially just give you my process because a lot of my clients ask for this and I don't want you guys hung up on this technical stuff when I know you just want to be out building your trainings and changing lives. So hope that helps guys and use the link down below. <clears throat> if you liked this video, I would love it if you hit that like button. And if you subscribe, you will receive notifications when the new videos are out. So thank you guys for watching and here's to your success making your online courses.